dope. This is Deontay DeBron from a while, the WBC heavyweight champion of the world. And I'd like to give a big shout out to CJ Goodfellow from Sports TV. Bomb Squad, baby. All right, man. I watched the Keith Thurman, Sean Porter interview they did. I don't know if it was on Instagram Live. I'm assuming. And, um... Yeah, I'm assuming it was on Instagram Live or whatever. Um, and, you know, Keith Thurman was going on and on and on and on about, you know, the fight and all that. Uh, he said he was 172 pounds to start camp and, you know, kind of having the, what is it, the eight pound uh, weight advantage and not having to cut all the way down to 147 pounds. He also talked about this fight being more attractive than the stay on this fight. And I want to pause on that for a minute. Um, not a New York pause, but just regular pause. And this is why you really got to pay attention and watch the whole interview. I'll be, t I'll be sending Kobe interviews. That motherfucker be like, just tell me what part to go to. No, you have to listen to really get the totality of... Uh, To really understand the entire entirety of it and really get the, the vivid picture of it. He said that this fight was more intriguing to him, right? But going down later in the interview, he said he didn't know who Tim Tim Zoo was. So Tim Zoo was like, it took you three days to, to pick the fight. Um, He said it took you three days to, to pick the fight. He said, well, I didn't know who you was because I had to do film on you. And I think the reason Keith Thurman took this fight over to stay on his fight is because he didn't want to take, he didn't want to make the cut from 172 down to 147. And also, this probably was going to be a pay-per-view fight and do better numbers. And that's, and that's fine. Um, so, you know, and they went back and forth and, and Keith basically saying that he couldn't even knock out Mendoza and and Mendoza. Basically, Keith said he going to dance on him. Keith said he going to dance on him. That's what Keith said. Keith said he going to dance on him. Um, You know. So Keith basically said he going to move and they went back and forth and Zeus said he going to knock him out and. And for the most part, he said he didn't even know who Tim Zoo was. Think about that for a minute. He said he didn't even know who Tim Zoo was. So with him saying that he didn't even know who Tim Zoo was, um, is wild. He said he watched film, and then you know, three days later, according to Zoo, you know, he said he'd take the fight, and um. And Keith Thurman basically went in there and said that, you know, Pacquiao was about to quit in this fight and Pacquiao team was thinking about stopping the fight and that uh, we don't know what we talk about, that he got dropped, but he smiled when he got dropped. And, um, you know, so he was just talking a lot of shit to Tim Zoo. A lot of it. And I don't, I, I kind of get the gist that Sean Porter and Keith Thurman don't respect Tim Zoo's fight game. That's what I kind of, I kind of believe. They don't respect this fight game. So, they don't respect this fight game, and I think Tim Zoo got something to prove. And he said, "Well, you could knock out Mendoza, and Mendoza was moving, and you know that you know he's just probably trying to berate him, and he ain't Tony Harrison, he ain't gonna lay on the ropes." And, you know, Keith Thurman talking about, I'm hungry. Tim Zoo's like, you ain't hungry. And, you know, he said, you ain't had a knockout in over a decade. <laughs> he said, Keith Thurman ain't had a knockout in over a decade. And when the last time he dropped somebody, too? I think he dropped Barrios, didn't he? Did he drop Barrios? But, like I said before, you know, Keith Thurman he was even saying he want to try something new in his career, or add something to his camp. No matter the outcome in this fight, he can he going he going to do it before his career is over with. So he didn't specify. So, like I said before, Keith Thurman is is brought here to be the sacrificial lamb. 
You know, and one one of the reasons I think he took the fight is more lucrative than the options that he had, and that he don't have to cut down to 155, 147 pounds. So he said he was 172 pounds coming into this fight, this fight camp. So the cut is a little bit different. You know, he was saying that you know Tim Zoo got to respect his power and and all that stuff, and you know, I mean, is is naturally a good fight. You know, Keith Thurman speak a lot of high IQ outside the ring, but in the ring, he ain't always the smartest fighter. And like I said, in that Pacquiao fight, that exposed him that he refused to throw a straight right hand against a southpaw. It took him six, seven rounds to figure out to throw a straight right hand versus southpaw. He fighting a guy, Manny Pacquiao, who's known for being for getting a point A to point D with straight punches and you throwing looping shots. He loading up on his shots. And he finally, he finally, you know, sit down and throw straight shots and he started to have success. So he walking Pacquiao down, you know, killing Pacquiao with a one, two, popping his head back. Then what Keith Thurman do? Keith Thurman pop his head back, he take a step back. <laughs> Literally in that fight. Keith Thurman pop his head back, he make a small adjustment, he take a half step back. No, if you're gonna pop his head back, why not come back with the left hook, turn him? And shoot the right hand again. Or why not throw the one two? You know what I'm saying? And step to him with another one two, or step to him with a two. And like I said, he's he sitting there, boom, boom, pack your head up, pop back. He'll take a full step back. We, we, I watching that movie theater, like, what the fuck is he doing? he do it again. Boom, boom. He'll take a half step back and watch his work. Instead of going boom, boom, and then throwing a hook and turning him. Or he could have got pum pum, right? And shot and shot the two again or shot the one two again. For a dude that loved to throw the hook, he went pum pum, step back, watch his work. Instead of going pum 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 and spin and turn and turning them. I'm like, the motherfucker ain't that smart. That's what I'm thinking. Like, dog ain't that smart. That was just me watching the fight. He sounds smarter. He 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 sounds smarter outside the ring than he fight. And I and I think I think Tim Zhu ain't getting the respect. I don't think Sean Porter really respect this game, and I don't think Keith Thurman respect this game. And Keith Thurman is thinking he about to box him and and do some things, and you know, and, you know. But we'll see. We'll see. But one, it sounds like one of the reasons Keith Thurman took this fight is not to make the full cut down to one forty seven. And the question is, even if he wanted to go back down to 47, could he? See, Tim Zhu fighting one pound above his weight. That ain't shit. He fight one pound. He fight one pound above his weight. So, you know. So he'll be able to come back down to 54. Keith Thurman, would he fight eight pounds above his regular weight? Keith might be more powerful. Keith might have more energy. But the problem with it is Keith got rust. Keith got rust. And you can't acclimate rust. And the extra weight will help with the rust. For sure. The extra weight will help with the rush. Or the rust. But... I don't really think he he really respecting Tim Zoo. And I think he gonna box early. He probably gonna put about four, five rounds in the bank. You know? But the problem with Keith Thurman is if he box like he boxed from round one to round six to round seven to round twelve, Keith Thurman still be undefeated. Probably be one of the best fighters in the world. But the problem with Keith Thurman is he started to get lackadaisical. And the question is, as Tim Zhu steps up in competition, can he continue to finish? See, that's what Terrence Crawford is able to do. As Terrence Crawford steps up in competition, he still finish in top competition. As better BF step up in competition, he still finish in top competition. As a not now you a new UA steps up in competition, he's still stopping top competition. Tim Zhu, you didn't stop. Brian Mendoza, you did beat him up. Let's see if you step up in competition with an old rusty man 
if you can continue to stop top competition. So uh, not too many guys, um, not too many guys uh, can continue to stop top competition as they stepping up in class. So it's one thing to think about, man. Not too many guys can do it, but hey, um, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notification, increase your chance, get notifications. We go live or drop video. Financially, want to support the channel? Cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313 Venmo, CJ Good 313 PayPal link in the description. Hit the link tree. You can find me on X, Kick, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, the whole nine. Appreciate the love and support. Let me know what you girls and guys think in the comment section. Uh, check out the Box News playlist for more videos like this. Peace.